I remember my first pair of glasses. Seeing the world through a spherical orb of glinting glass. Everything seemed so much bigger, brighter. I would anticipate the selection of a new pair, waiting to stand, gazing at the wall of different ways to see the world. I loved them then. They made me who I was. As I grew older, the testing became more tedious. Eye drops quivering as they fell, my eyes stinging and blurry. Mechanical contraptions pinching my nose as I sat and squinted. Red or green or red or blue. Trying to decipher a Y from a U. Is it better one or two? Every time the same. Walking through the playground in the rain. Raindrops speckling the panes my eyes hid behind. The steam at the condensed and clouded my clear view. Wiping it away on the corner of a jumper. The girls that curled their mascara and flicked out their eyeliner in swift patterns that glittered when they blinked. They did not have to worry about the smear on the glass, the obstruction of sight, the sheer difficulty of applying the stuff, hands grappling helplessly behind the frames, makeup petulantly splurging over lashes where it wasn't meant to be. But that's just me. Maybe I should just let myself be. You see, they stare from behind their perfect 2020 vision, eyes glazed over absently, never taking a moment to watch their unblurred world and all there is for them to see. Yes, I have been four eyes, specky, a freak. Well, they never noticed the real person underneath. But I can wear my coloured frames that curl and twist and shimmer. If I conformed, wore contacts, then my style would just seem dimmer. And it's not just the looks and smiles that make me feel right. I'm always grateful for my frames, because they gave me sight. <laughs>